Right then, you lot, we're on our way to just go up to find a big hill. Um, and I'll explain what the crack is when I get there. But uh, yeah, might do a little bit of antenna testing while I'm there. And we'll see what we'll see what's going on when I, when I get there. It's, uh, it's about seven o'clock in the morning, Sunday morning at the moment. So we might find some people on here, we might not, I don't know. Right then, so I'm gonna better get in into this park just yet because there's bloody gates here. I usually park around there somewhere, but I can park in the front. So I'm gonna put the aerial on the roof now, stick the old uh, tank whip, I'm gonna put that on the roof, and once I get that up there, we'll see what it's like. Well, should be all right, hopefully. It's supposed to be pre SWR and all that, but we'll see once we get up there. Right, so there we go then. There's the old tank whip, all the way up there like that. Put on there. I've got my uh, Ham King two meter aerial as well. So a bit two meters by rear. I've got the old drone up there, lovely. <laughs> I don't get to, I don't get to use it very often, so I thought I'd give it a go. I'd give it a use, you know. Anyway, let's get this going. got in. Little man come along early and he opened up the gate. <laughs> I said, you're opening it up early dude? He said, yeah. I said, bloody hell. <laughs> so I'm in. Anyway, got myself a nice little parking space. Look, no one here in the park. Look. Got myself a nice little parking space and I just park here. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get the radios attached to it, shall we? Oh, sounds like the old drone's running out of battery. <laughs> the old drone's running out of battery, look. Oh well, never mind. Right, let's get going, shall we? Right then, here we go. I've got me, uh, I've got that radio set up. Um, the lowest that I could get the the old SWR um, was 1.4, but these you're not supposed to you know, have to adjust them. They've got a little Allen screw there where you can move it. There's a small amount, very small. Um, but don't forget, the roof is somewhat moist. Um, 
I didn't I didn't bring a cloth or anything to wipe it off so it's probably because there's a bit of water underneath the mag mount that's probably why the SWR is a bit high but never mind so that's all set up then I've had a chat with Matt already um, Matt's already on on the air so yeah I'm gonna set the two meter radio up and then we'll have a chat and see what's going on all right there we go two meters set up we're all set up now <laughs> hate bloody wires man <laughs> oh well got a little battery down there it's just a car battery it's not a leisure battery or nothing it's just a car battery so I've got that up there because I get a lot of noise from uh, the engine I have to have the engine on to keep the power going other than battery will run out but I have to have that on and the two meters brings over a lot of noise for the other people listening to me so I have to have that car battery there when I can save up enough I save up enough I'll get a leisure battery and then that'll be all good that lasts me all day then a leisure battery but that car battery won't last very long especially on that radio that radio has a cut off it gets to about 11.4 volts and then it cuts off turns off <coughs> to save your battery voltage so never mind that's that anyway so um oh sorry a lot of people have seen it so far me seen it so far don't tell me uh probably about four or five people seen it so far oh that's all right then isn't it? maybe we'll get someone come up it's in 10 minutes yeah, so for your information, you lot, um, Matt there, what I'm talking to, Matt, he's on Facebook, I ain't got Facebook, see, but he's on Facebook, and he's put on a group that we're on, that I'm on top of the hill, and and we're on the channel this morning to see if anyone wants to come on and have a chat with us, sort of thing. Which isn't bad, at the moment. What, what's not bad, Matt? Four or five people, um, right, four or five people were um, reading it, seen it, ready. Been out since ten o'clock. What ten minutes? Oh, that's all right. Yeah, I'll keep me ears. I'll keep me ears open and see uh, if I can hear anybody. I might open the scratch up a little bit and see if I can hear anyone. My scratch up. My scratch up all the time. Mine is. Yeah, but I don't like listening to the bloody all the time. You know, I don't mind opening it if I'm listening for somebody, but I don't have it open all the time. No. I think just just where I need it. Yeah, so why I can get here some people and find that all the time. Uh you know what you do, you know what uh you got on the uh in dolls. Uh good 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 with that sound on here. Um just the targy stuff you had. So no more near yeah? Well I ain't got them with me, no. So you should do yeah. <laughs> No, I know, but I need a bloody thick power cable to run from the battery or something for that. <laughs> we did it, we was running uh, C50s, I think we was, and we just using the um, same cars we use on um, parallels and some cars we use now. Well I can't do that Matt because it'll melt, you know, the power cables will melt, they, they take, um, if you've got them on full, they take about 50 amp, well the power cable I've got at, that I've got at home is about 20, rated about 20 amps. Now, melt cable, mate. Well, yeah, true. Uh, but don't we get them from then? Well, all I've got to do is buy some cable, simple as that. And I can attach it to the battery. Boom. Bob's your uncle. Job done. I might have to get a bigger alternator, actually. Yeah, true. <laughs> yeah, that cost you a normal leg, won't it? Yeah, that's why I ain't done it. <laughs> I just get the cable and do that way, because they say we don't own a car and that works fine. He's a funny old chap, Matt, isn't he, eh? <laughs> yeah, I know that, mate. Um, but, uh, yeah, he's just, just uh, he's obviously just not tuned particularly for this part of the band. For those of you but listening... That is weird. So what's it on the, uh, that's 1.4, did you see? Hmm. So I think, must be saying, what the aim of it could be. Well, I don't know, mate. Probably not. There's nothing to go wrong with the aerial. It's a tank whip. Or it is a metal stick. Oh, yeah. What can be wrong with the cuts? You know, say so that must be a bad sign lead. For those of you that are wondering now, we've gone to 305 to see if we can hear them lot over in Stevenage. Um, stand by a minute, mate. Right. We've gone to 305 to see if we can hear them lot over in Stevenage or wherever they are. Because that's the channel that they intend to stick on. And uh, I just checked the SWR on the antenna just to make sure that it's all right, and it's about two and a half, <coughs> or just above that. And uh, well, 
don't forget, got wet roof and all that kind of stuff. But I don't think the tank whip is uh, designed for that part of the band, is it? It's designed for UK 40 as far as I know, I don't know. But it's alright on USB because I'm not running constant power, you know. It's just only going up and down, isn't it? You know, running little bits of power. So it's alright, I can have a, a bit of a chat sort of thing, you know. But it's not ideal. But old Matt there re <laughs> reckons there's something wrong with the antenna. But you can't put anything wrong with it, it's a bloody tank whip. All it is is a metal stick. It's just a metal stick. There's no coils. Well, I don't think there is. There might be. But it's just a metal stick as far as I know. Anyway, let's see if there's anyone on there. See if we can hear anyone. I'm probably going to get some stick people going. I bet I'm going to get people go. Why are you... You've got two metres. You've got an amateur bar, amateur radio, but you're using CB. Why, what's the matter with you? Well, I like CB. CB's nice. I like CB. Yeah. I'll always stick around CB because I like it. It's, it's, it's like a free room. <laughs> Station Dagenham here. Stay big. Yeah, it'll be quiet in the bin. It'll be quiet. I go, go four to five, F six, six or six. Right, mate. We just quiet. Try to sort that out in a minute if I can. So, how did you manage to find us? I forget your name. Sorry. Can you tell me your name again? So I forget what you said it was. But how did you manage to find us, then, mate? Just come across randomly. Oh, yeah, it was on the one nine. I popped down here. Oh, you've been here the whole time. Ah, oh, sweet. <laughs> See, there was someone on the one nine, Matt. Yes, yeah, so over there, they heard us about eight. They heard you about it on the old um, Facebook. You didn't hear it on Facebook, did you? No, I knew it was mate. No, no, I was just on the one nine. I was just, just getting out of bed and I heard you. Who's <laughs> on? I was just talking, mate. Yeah. Very nice. Have we spoken before? Yeah, that's like you've been. You've been before on, the, uh, on this one. Three out of five, but I won't give you two wheel. I, I, uh, I don't know what's happening. I'll give you better now. I'm on a phone comp. Uh, I'm at the same as your one, yeah? Ah, oh, nice. You're yeah, like I said, I'm mobile at the moment on Langdon Hills. So I'm using a tank whip and um, a Capo DX5000. Yeah, mate. It sounds really quite. That, that Capo. Sounds really good. Good, good uh, mic, yeah, wasn't it? Capo. Yeah, I'm using a Capo microphone as well, yeah. But the radio is a Capo DX5000, and the microphone is a Capo mic, power mic. I can't remember what it's called. Um, oh, it's um NM532 microphone. Yeah, and it's just linked up to a tank whip on the roof. Simple as that. Yeah, it sounds really good. It sounds, uh, yeah, my car, I've got a SS9900. You might know, my car. You know, yeah, yeah it's just a... Uh, 25 to 20, I think, uh, 10 metre radio. Well, it's about 40 out of the back, you know, the one SS9900. And uh, yeah, I'm going to change that mic. I'm going to put the same mic you got on there. Try that out, you know. Yeah, cracking uh, microphone. That radio, that's what Matt's using at the moment. Uh, um, I don't know why he's quiet to you, but that's the radio he's using right now. I don't know. Matt, uh, what microphone are you using with that radio? You better give it a I'd use the microphone working with it, the old dumb line over the area. What are you using, Ben? He's using the standard mic that come with the radio. Ben? Did you get that? I said he's using the standard mic that come with the radio. Oh, what do you mean? Yeah, you got to change that. Yeah, that's the only way you get to know. Just try stuff out, mate, you know. I had um, an Aesthetic D104, I think it was called, I bought for this radio, but it sounded crap, absolutely rubbish. So I sent that back and got this one instead. Yeah, different microphones work with different radios, you know. You've just got to try and find the right one. Yeah, well, you know, 
I, I do find it I do find it fun the fun part for me is sort of um, setting it all up you know, I like to set it all up I got here put all the aerial on the roof and everything and then uh, yeah that's the that is the fun part um, I wanted to see how this antenna works as well because I've never used this antenna like I say it's a hand king but I can't remember what it's, a, it's six six nine seven or something like that it is but uh, and also I wanted to see um, how long this battery would last with this radio so uh, I was I was determined because I don't really get any other sort of time, do I? Sort of, you know. Oh, I guess so. I just looked on the interweb. Haven't found anything for a ham king. No, I don't know what it is. Um, nice chat yeah, on two okay. meters. As long as you're happy. Right, Tom. Uh, yeah, thanks for that. a quick chat. Uh, I'll let you go and uh, pass it back to Ben. Uh, M6. Sorry, Ben, I've completely forgotten your call sign. Back to you. Yeah, 2E0 NVM uh, from M6 XS said mobile. You'll get it one day. I forget it myself a lot of the time. Never mind. Right, I'm going to say, uh, right, so I think uh, Christian now, I think he's going now. So um, M0SSK, uh, M6 XS said mobile. I'll see you later, Christian. Have a great day, won't you? Many thanks, Ben, the one and only. Um, I'm doing lots of radio today, so if later on you want to chat on to, maybe I'll be able to get you from the Colchester region as well. So 73, thank you very much, and we must do this again. Oh, and the news is starting in a few minutes, so if you're about, have a wonderful day. Cheers, mate. Yep, I'm going to go and listen to that uh, and see if I can hear it okay from here. Okay, bye bye, mate. Right, Pete, are you are you start, are you going to go and listen to the news? Right, yeah, five two five. I think it is on. Yeah, I normally listen to you, mate. Uh, if you want to uh, disappear and listen to that, I'll let you go. Uh, thanks so much for the quick chat. Uh, I'm going to quickly reply to Matt on uh, the old uh, <coughs> interwebs and uh, go and have a listen. Thanks very much for uh, coming back to me and letting me in. No worries, my pleasure for the chat there, mate. Two E zero NVM M six XS said mobile. Ciao for now, mate. Take care. M M6 SSZ mobile from 2E0 MVM. Yep, thanks very much. Uh, 73 uh, 2E0 MVM QRT. Right, let's go and have a listen for the news. There it is. Should be on there. Should be starting in a little while. We'll see if I can hear it all up from here. See who's on there now, then, shall we? Uh, RCB board responsibilities change. Five train the trainers courses next year. The World Communication Conference 2019 has concluded there in Egypt. Go. The 3,300 delegates have considered many aspects of radio, including news. several that will affect our hobby. Perhaps the biggest bit of news on two meters. Getting quite well up here. An allocation in the 50 megahertz band for amateurs in region one. Job, isn't it? The amateur service now has a baseline secondary allocation of 50 to 52 megahertz in the main ITU allocation table for region one. Signals going up and down. A though, total of 44 named region one countries will now have a primary allocation in all or part of the 50 to 54 megahertz band. You can find full details on this and all the WRC-19... That is very, very crazy at the moment. Somebody out of the lane, uh, in the lane, 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 Good morning from Landon Hills. Fucked off. Probably got bored. <laughs> But then also, don't forget my FWR on this new feed, you verb high. Or this one, then my upstairs. But don't think it's fine. Okay, Matt, no worries. Uh, well, I know I still like the FWR on this feed, I'll probably be able to play right near me. Contact John, G6LNU, on 01235. I'll put you right up under the rally, Bailey. On Friday, a mid yeah, radio if I'd have known about it, I would have gone, I didn't know about it. Details from Stella Rogers, M6. Morning, Keith, wherever you are today. 
Anyway, I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Just stay in there, um, Ben. Brad, just stay in there. Where are you? Well, there we go. I just uh, I gave my signal report to the bloody newsreader, but I thought I was recording it, but I didn't have it on record. That's a bit annoying. Oh well, there we go. I think I'm going to pack up now. Got my aerials on the roof. Now I took the tank, tank whip down and put the serio up there, the 4000, because the tank whip, I don't know what happened, the SWR all of a sudden went off the scale. So I took that down out, got no time for that today, so I took that down, got the old serio up there. That's working all right. Got the old pan king there, two meters, it's working okay. That one's uh, uh, redundant at the moment. It's a temporary antenna. Well, it's not temporary, it's a permanent antenna for the car, but I only have them ones up there when I'm using them properly. Well, we're all packed up now, ready to go home. You know what? I was, I've been, I've been looking around all over the place because to tell you the truth, I'm getting a little bit sick and tired of radio. Like I've been doing too much of it. There's some people, there's some channels, right? They do, they literally do radio all the time. There's one that sometimes I, he pops up every now and again. I think his name's Kyle or something. He's a two e zero, and he seems, he seems to do radio. He seems to do radio all the time. And I'm just like, oh my god, must get bloody sick of it. I'll get sick and tired of it if I do. The only reason I did this today was because I felt like something different. But I've been looking around on the internet to try and find some old lawnmowers um, or whatever on eBay and all that kind of stuff. Old lawnmowers to, to buy and repair for cheap. Um, you know, buy them cheap. I'm not buying expensive ones. I buy the cheap ones. But I can't seem to come across any. People just seem to want too much money, man. So I want to do some more lawnmowers and vacuum cleaners and things just to break it up because all the videos I've been doing recently have all been radio, 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 radio stuff and it's, I'm getting bloody sick and tired of doing too much of it, you know. So I want to do something different but I'm going to keep looking for some old lawnmowers and strimmers and things to repair because I like doing all that old stuff, that was good fun that was but I did a lot of that but they come up, too, they come up really cheap then. Anyway, I'm going to head off home now. There's, look, there was a few people come to walk their dogs, but they've all gone now. Time there is uh, 20 to 10 now, so a lot of joggers been running past and all that. So, thanks for watching, you lot, and I'll catch you. I'll catch you later on. Catch you another day. <laughs> oh, by the way, <laughs> some of you lot were pretty bitter about that video I made about that 767, weren't you? <laughs> I thought that was hilarious, man. <laughs> oh man, I love it. It's only a little bit of fun, you know. Bloody hell, take everything you see on a pinch of, with a pinch of salt. Anyway, like I said, catch you later. Have a great day, wouldn't you? Really enjoy yourselves because today, but this my making this is Sunday, but this video will be a Monday's video. So have a great week. Enjoy the week. Yeah, love you all. Take care.